What's good everyone, I'm Forrest Walker and hello from Istanbul, Turkey. So I said I had different ideas for some video series to mix in here and there, and this week we're gonna cover one of those ideas that I had for photo walks. But instead of taking you out on the walk with me, we're gonna more focus on the photos from the walk and take from that. And what I mean by that is after quickly going over the walk, where I went, so you get kind of context of where the photos were taken, and also if you're ever in Istanbul, you can take this walk, then we're gonna jump into the photos. And I have some selections where I'm gonna share different insights on how I approach the scene, what attracted me to the scene so you get kind of an idea of how I work out there and how I think, but then also really focus on just critiquing photos. So I'll, I'll share what I think works, what doesn't work, what I could have done differently. I'm gonna get more detailed on that in a bit, but really just learning from the photos because I think over time, other than actually shooting out there, one of the best things is to look at your own work and learn from it. Also looking at other people's work can help too. But we're gonna kind of share some different insights on that. This is the first one in this series. So after this one, you can tell me how you like it, if there's any tweaks I need to make or you wanna see. I anticipate it might go a little longer than I really want, but we're just gonna have fun with it this time. And we're gonna go into my computer now. And that's where really we're gonna look at the photos. Then we'll come back and recap it off with a few key points from looking through the photos. Then I'll share a few details on an upcoming video and a way for you to send me questions. For this video, we're gonna cover a place called Emanonu, which is a neighborhood in Istanbul, one of my favorites here, one of most people's favorites. So you've probably seen a lot of photos in this area, but we'll get into it. Let's get into the map, let's go. All right, so here we have Istanbul. And if you're not familiar with it, this is the European side here. This is the Asian side. Here's the Bosphorus running between into the Golden Horn here. Here you have the district of Beoglu. I stay up here uh, near Taksim Square. Then you have Istiklal, the pedestrian street that comes down here to Karakoy. Crossing the Galata Bridge here, you get into Emanonu, and that's where we'll be talking about today and the walk that I did there. So, and it's in the district of Fatih. So getting closer, here's Emanonu, the highlighted area here. So up here is the Galata Tower, just up here. Then down here, Karakoy, there's ferries on both sides. There's waterfront, there's uh, restaurants, fishermen, people hanging out on both sides. You also have a line of restaurants here and you have a larger park and boardwalk. And it's a really cool area, especially uh, to watch the sunset. Then if you cross, cross the Galata Bridge here, and all these places you're gonna see photos on the walk here. But if you cross the Galata Bridge here, you come here, it's kind of like a square here in Emanonu. If you've seen pictures from Istanbul, you've probably seen pictures here, especially street photography. So here, you have on both sides, you have ferries too. If you cross the tunnel under here, you have the ferries, but you also have a lot of waterfront where people hang out. Over here on the other side, you have a bus station, which is a cool area to, to take some photos. Then up here, you can explore more of the back streets. Um, there's a mixture of tourist sites, but then there's also a lot of local, very local neighborhoods with a lot of character. And if you go further up to uh, Fatih, you go up to places like Balat. But we're going to stay around here. So you also have the new mosque over here. You'll see photos by there. And then, of course, the uh, famous Grand Bazaar is down here. But we're going to be staying around this area here for the walk. So let's go to... Lightroom. So here I, I quickly selected around, I think around 20, 25 shots from a couple photo walks around Emanonu. I'm going to go longer on some than others. Some will be pretty quick. But what I'm going to try to do is just kind of tell you the things that I like, what I didn't like, things I was going for. Um, I actually have a list here. So when you're looking at photos of other people, really it's all that matters is do I like the photo or not. If you're looking at someone else's photos and trying to learn from it, you can you can try to see what look, uh, works for you, uh, maybe what doesn't, or try to think of what they did that you can add to how you approach scenes. Now for this exercise, we're gonna be a little more in depth though. We're gonna look at a, a lot of things. And when a photo works, it just works. I'm not too into technically breaking down a photo, but for an exercise like this, you kind of have to. So we're going to be looking at what works, what doesn't work. Um, I'll, I'll explain things that I was going for, what maybe grabbed me. When uh, you have a photo that you really like, you should, you sh or even a photo that you took, you should be able to explain something that grabbed you or something that you were going for. Uh, so it's not just like you're just, you know, spraying and praying. So uh, when I teach workshops, sometimes people can't tell me what they like about the photo. They just say they like it. Usually th th there should be a reason you took the photo, even if it was an instinctual shot. You know what grabbed you. Um, most of the time. There are exceptions, of course. Uh, but then we'll be looking at anything that bothers me, 
or I wish that could have been. Maybe that's out of my control. So we'll talk about challenges, things I might have done differently. I'll explain a little bit how I approached some scenes um, and challenges I ran into and then kind of just an overall feeling. And then if I can pick up any lessons taken or emphasize that I can share anything discovered. So let's go back to the photos over here. So we're going to start off with this one. Uh, this was pretty much right outside my uh, place on the main street, walking towards Eminonu. Um, so I was walking, I wasn't really even paying attention yet, but uh, I saw the shadow out of the corner of my eye. I liked the shadow and the gesture. So I quickly got up and kind of um, squatted down and took this photo as the as they were. he was talking to another guy. So I liked the gesture, but there wasn't anything else in the photo. I wish there was a little more context. For someone that doesn't know, they wouldn't know probably. This is a shoe shiner. He's got his brush and, and his equipment here. So for the next photo, I actually got a little more context, moved ahead a little bit, but then I didn't have this gesture anymore and I didn't like it as much. So uh, really all I have here is a gesture. I do kind of like the colors. It's, they're supplementary colors. You have the, the yellows and the oranges, which is kind of nice, but I do want something more. So there's not enough. Here, this is another, uh, this is the Galata Bridge here and that square I was talking about. And so this was an instinctual shot. People are always coming from the tunnel here. This is a really popular spot to come when uh, the sun's, you know, in the eve uh, at the later in the day when the sun's really nice, you'll get people coming out of the shadows. You'll see a lot of photographers here. But this is more in the middle of the day. But she's coming out. I like her. I like her look. Uh, she had this look before I even took the photo, so it wasn't really reaction. She's just looking my way. But she already had this kind of. I don't know, it's not the nicest expression, but I, I like I like it. So I liked them. I also liked her balloon, but uh, the wind actually pushed it behind him when I took this photo. What I don't like is it, it's, a, it's a mess in the background, uh, some distractions there. And also, I don't love this couple here. They're kind of to the edge here, and they actually take up more of the scene than they do when this is what I actually care about. So I wish it was a little more centered on them without the mess. So really what I have is, is her expression, so it's not, not enough for me. Here, uh, overall, obviously what I liked, um, well, first off, the, the baby's a nice scene, but the colors here are really nice. You have the yellows, the yellow of the ship, yellow and blue, complementary colors. So visually, it's a pretty scene. Uh, what I did is I tried to position the baby carriage in between the two women here, which I liked partly because uh, they both look pretty similar. They're both wearing black and they have their hair up like that. So you get a little symmetry putting the baby in between and then I waited till the ship filled the scene from uh, frame uh, end to end here and then you have the blue and the clouds there. So there's nice layers here, uh, nice colors. So overall I think it's a pretty picture. I, I don't know if there's enough there though other than that there's not a whole lot grabbing me other than the overall scene is pretty. But I do like the colors. Here's another scene that grabbed me because of the light and kind of the colors too. First, I liked her hair. It's blonde, but almost white. So the, the light hitting it, it really stood out against the shadows. And uh, I took a few photos of this scene. I liked when she put her hand up here, matched his. Nice reflection of the sky and the mosque, and then you can see through the, the ferry here. What I don't like is I wish it was I was closer, but this was a challenge that I really couldn't do anything about because there's water in between us. So I was on the edge of the shore here. So it's 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 a it's another kind of scene that's pretty, but I, I need I need something more. It needs to be closer. It's more just visual. So this is over by the bus station. So what I liked was I, I like this couple. I like the light. I like the sky here, the reflection, all that. Um, I don't love the the left side here. There's not a lot adding it, but I do kind of like the mood here. But I I wanted them, but without this left side. So I took a few more photos. Um, but then it doesn't have that, that nice light shining down, unfortunately. But I, I kind of use this as a, as a divider. So getting them and then the rest of the scene here. I took quite a few photos here waiting for separation. You have the reflection here. Um, took another one here. Here you have kind of more connection between them and the nice reflection there, the sky. And more going on over here. So I don't think, I don't hate it, but I, I do wish uh, there wasn't, I wish something more would have happened. Here, this is all about uh, the obviously the, her balloon, uh, but the colors are nice. The lights nice. Uh, she was standing over here uh, facing the bus, so as soon as she turned like that, it added a little more and it took the shot. Uh, the things I don't like, uh, I wish they were a little closer together. 
I don't, I don't love this right here. I wish this was more of a divider. The, this uh, advertisement here is not adding. It's kind of distracting. This back here is kind of distracting too. And I wish it was more just them the co and the colors without, without these things. So there's not enough there, but, but the colors are nice and the, the two subjects are nice. Here, I, I like this scene um, more than the, the past ones, I think. Um, I like how everything's pretty compact, but still separate. I like the hands in this one. Hands are always a big thing uh, uh, for gesture. So you have the hand here, hand here, hand here, and then the, the baby's hand too. And uh, I took a, a few pictures of that. They didn't, they obviously saw me, but they didn't really react um, or say anything. But here, uh, I like that it kind of mirrors and I like the flow here. They're both looking in the frame, which keeps you inside the frame, but then there's still some flow with her looking out. Here I took a couple shots. If you haven't been to Istanbul, uh, corn is really popular. They sell grilled corn everywhere. And usually there's a, a man running it and they don't love pictures, but uh, in this case, he had just gone back to throw something in a garbage bin. So I, I, I kneeled down or not kneeled down, but kind of squatted down. And I was I was kind of thinking these are these towers here, the moss. They're called minarets. To try to kind of uh, match them with the the corner of the cob sticking straight up here, and then putting the, the mosque here and the people in the background, and then waiting till people got in between the corn here. So I kind of I pretty much got what I wanted. I, I'm not sure which one I like better. Prob probably like this one better. Um, so I got what I wanted, uh, but. I don't know if it's enough. I'd have to come back to it. Um, here's the actual guy selling corn, as, as you can see. Uh, he was about to tell me to leave, so which is exactly what he did. So I didn't get to take another shot after that. This is a totally uh, instinctual shot, very quick. So I'm walking up over to the new mosque. As I'm walking up the stairs, uh, there's someone, a couple people there, they're carrying the baby carriage down the stairs. So I, I saw the, the baby here and how the light's hitting the baby is really nice, especially with the, the red hair. And then I saw the uh, shadow out of the corner of my eye. So I quickly just, uh, you know, lowered down and took the shot. Um, so I like the light here and the shadow here. I wish that the, the baby here was more close, uh, was closer to the shadow. Um, and then I didn't have this here, this distraction but that was a pretty quick shot. This is by the new mosque, and unfortunately this new mosque has been under construction forever. Back before it was, you, you would have a nice background here of the mosque, uh, but now you have you know the metal, and uh, I really hate this thing here too with the, the numbers, so it's really hard to get a, a decent shot over here. It's always gonna be a mess. So I took this shot because of the action. The, someone scared the, the birds, they flew up, she ducks. You have some nice direction here of her head this way, him this way, and then him this way. But then this all here, there's nothing happening here. Everything's just happening here. And then, of course, it's, it's just a mess of a background. This has less mess, which is good. And, uh, and I, I took the shot because the boy was in the air like that. And you have three things here, the bird flying. But uh, again, I don't love the background, and she's a little too much to the right. But even if she had been in, this, this background is, is horrible. Here's back over at that square, and I really like them. This was kind of a quick, instinctual shot, too. As soon as I saw them, I just took the shot. I did move a little bit when I took it to get him or them between the, the minarets here, so they weren't coming out of, over, uh, coming out of his head and things like that. Um, I like them. I like the light. I really like this baby's expression and then his too. And they're just kind of a, a, a funny couple here. But uh, the back, the background's kind of a mess. The garbage here, and even though I did get them in between, the minarets are kind of a mess too. But I, I like them. Here, this is more about color. That's really what attracted me here. I like the different colors here. You have quite a few. Uh, the light's nice. I took this. Sh I took a couple shots here. This was the most separation with the most flow energy, but still you have overlapping here, and so it's definitely not a perfect shot. But I do like the colors, but it's not enough. This was another quick shot as I'm walking along the Galata Bridge. I saw that out of the corner of my eye. This child here, I like, kind of like their look, and then uh, next to the the fisherman here. But what kills it for me is is a couple things. This is the biggest thing, though. This this bright white shirt is really distracting with the arms coming out the side, 
and nothing back there. So there's it's just not enough it's, and too much distraction. This might be my favorite shot. I, I'll come back to it later of of the walks. But um, here you have the Galata Bridge, and I mean, there's so many photos from the Galata Bridge. Um, I try to do something a little different. Normally people either have the pole, fishing poles in here or they're carrying them, but he walked off somewhere and put his pole there. So I, I used it kind of as a divider between the people and the bridge and the water and the, and the tower. And then the horizon is kind of another divider. So you kind of have quarters and then triangles. Then you have the poles sticking out and they kind of go up and up and then it turns into the, the uh, light poles here. So I like all that and I kind of like the angle and everything. It's kind of a cool shot to me. Um, I'll come back to this one, but I, I like it more than all the previous ones. Here's a shot. What I saw here is I. There's always people here, but I kind of like that the the people were all separate, but still filling all the benches. Um, I like the trees here, but the problem here is that this was all a bunch of space. Um, so I try to add him, but it, it doesn't fix it. There's still too much space. And while the, the, they're all nice, they're still kind of compact along this plane here. If I could take it from more of above, maybe it would be better and spread out. But there's just all the interests here, and it's not really separated enough. So it doesn't work for me. Here's a nice scene um, of the couple here, the ship, the mosque, nice light. I tried to fill this space by using this man walking by, but still it's just a picture of backs. There's really nothing going on, just kind of a, a pretty scene, so there's not enough for me. Here's a, a nice scene. This is um, over in Kerkoy, and this is uh, where people come for sunsets. There's a big boardwalk up here in park, but the sun's nice. You have a lot, a lot going on here. You have the man here, family here, the mosque, the flag and the light, the child up here, and this, this man was walking, so I just timed it then. So it's a nice overall scene. There's nothing that's really pulling me in. It's more just kind of a, a nice scene uh, from a distance. So I wanted to get closer. So then the ferry came in. I tried to push the layers together. So I got it pretty close here. Uh, the light's nice back here and you have a reflection of the mosque and the people. But unfortunately the light's not good here because the light's not hitting the foreground or midground. So they're kind of in the shadows. So I wish the light was more here. And I took a couple shots. I, I, I got her looking in, which I like a little bit better. But still, I don't like the light so much on the foreground there. And I don't know. There, there's something that's not overall. I like it, but it, it's not enough for me. And so we're going to finish this off. Uh, this was uh, up, up here. You go up the, to Istiklal up to, to uh, Taxim Square and home so i took this shot i saw this couple ahead this is kind of a quick instinctual shot but at the same time i was somewhat prepared as i was walking closer i, I noticed the couple's body language very flirtatious and as i got closer i had my eye on them and then all of a sudden uh, as he grabs her she pulls down his mask and gives him a kiss and i took the shot so it was a very quick shot because of that i didn't have the, the best uh, focus so it's it's not completely in focus which normally wouldn't be a great thing but in this case it doesn't bother me too much partly because this background is a mess which is the worst part but because the background is so out of focus um, they're still way more in focus in the background it, it's not quite as distracting for me as it normally would be if it was all in focus so I like that part I really think I really like the kiss here I just wish the background was uh, was less messy but overall I think it's kind of a nice moment. So we'll wrap it up with a kiss there in that photo. Hopefully you liked a few of the photos from the walk and got to see a little bit of Istanbul there and Emanonu. And now we'll kind of go over a few of the major, I think, key points from the walk and the photos and the lessons learned and that can be passed on. So let's get to that. All right, so hopefully you found that interesting going through the photos like that and you got something out of it. I think some quick key points are filling the frame up with what works and putting your own twist on it to make it unique or finding something that's unique enough to really grab the viewer and make it stand out which is obviously the hardest thing to do but that's when you have a good photo it was fun the walk was good if you ever come to istanbul emanonu is one of the best places to go and it's really where most of the photographers do go when they come here but there's always enough interest out there you can get something unique too 
Again, this was the first photo walk talk, so I'd appreciate any feedback, any changes, and any additions you'd like to see. You can leave it in the comments below, or most people like to contact me on Instagram, so you can DM me there at FD Walker. And also, if you have any other, any requests or questions for future videos you can send me on instagram there or in comments below too uh, next week i already have a an idea for a, a video coming up it won't be a series but it should be interesting but then i do have another video i'm working on it's going to take a little longer but if you follow the blog you know i do different guides on cities on photography i'm going to try to make a video version of that so I'm working on that, excited about that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed going through the photos like that. I'm trying to be open with this and share actual daily photos when I do this because I think that's more valuable. But if there were any you liked in there, you can tell me that too. And I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching, cheers.